Joining us now is Congressman Elijah Cummings of Maryland. He is the ranking Democrat on the House Oversight Committee. He, along with the chairman of that committee today, Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz, wrote a scathing letter to the Secret Service expressing their grave concerns about this latest incident. Congressman Cummings, it's a real pleasure to have you here. Thank you for joining us tonight, sir. It's good to be with you, Rachel. So what can you tell us um, uh, about the investigation into this incident so far and what you and your, your staff have been told about what happened and how it's being looked into? Well, first of all, let me say this, Rachel. Um, this whole incident is extremely upsetting to me and uh, to Mr. Chaffetz, Chairman Chaffetz, and our entire committee, both Republicans and Democrats. Um, a lot has been done with regard to the Secret Service over the last several months. Um, Director Clancy came in, and he relieved uh, half of all the top uh, administrators in the Secret Service of their duties uh, and brought about some staffing changes and did a number of other things to make the agency better uh, that I can't even talk about because they're classified. But, mm. but clearly, Rachel, when you look at what happened here, it is, it is extremely alarming and it uh, is shocking to the conscience that two supervisory types uh, in the Secret Service uh, could come and crash a barrier, basically tamper with a crime scene because they may have ran over the very thing that they thought was a bomb, uh, and to put uh, other people in danger uh, because they appeared to have been uh, impaired by alcohol. And so it, 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 when we look at the series of events, one by one, all the things you just named, um, it makes you wonder, number one, whether there is a cultural problem here uh, and whether the agency has moved into a culture of complacency uh, and, and how deep this problem goes. But again, we've got clearly a lot of work to do, and I think this was a major wake-up call. The good thing, Rachel, is that the Homeland Security Inspector General is doing this investigation. That's a good thing, because they'll do a very thorough investigation, they'll be, do a deep dive, but they'll do something else, and that is that they will come up with recommendations as to what needs to be done to straighten out uh, this situation. Congressman Cummings, one of the things that I found disturbing uh, when I, I was working with producers today laying out this segment and we just made a chronological list of all the incidents that have happened during the Obama presidency and I didn't expect to see the pattern but once we made the list it did really appear that there is a pattern of a surprisingly high number of these incidents involving surprisingly high ranking people inside the Secret Service. Yeah. Supervisors being involved in, in some of the worst incidents. Do you know if the current investigation into this latest incident is just focused on those two agents who may have been in the vehicle or if they're also looking into this report that the supervisor may have told those uniformed officers to not breathalyzer, to not do a sobriety test and, and to let them go home? I can be, be, be certain about this, Rachel. It does include the, the allegation that the supervising uh, officer there told these guys they could uh, go home and and is it and we do know for a fact that they uh, the rank and file officers uh, the uniform officers really did believe that these uh, secret service agents were impaired mm. um, and so that concerns me greatly too because uh, here we have officers trying to do the right thing and Rachel let me be clear there are a lot I'd say 99 percent of our officers in secret service are great men and women doing a, a great job. But I'm telling you, when you have a situation where your supervisor tells you to look the other way mm. and allow somebody who appears to be impaired uh, to just go home and sleep it off as if nothing happened, it has a phenomenal effect on morale. It also brings confusion to those officers, and it also brings a, a level of disrespect. In other words, they have to, they end up disrespecting their superiors. And then we go right back, Rachel, to something that was happening uh, months ago where Secret Service agents uh, will come to us in the Congress 
before they will go uh, to their higher-ups to report things because they just don't feel comfortable. Mm. We are better than that. And, 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 and I look at this thing very seriously because, as you said, you're talking about the president of the United States of America, the most powerful person in the world and his family. And I'm telling you, when I look at what's going on here, it, 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 it makes me so upset. And I, I will not rest. And I know uh, Chairman Chaffetz feels the same way uh, until we get this resolved and get it right. Congressman Elijah Cummings of Maryland, thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight, sir. I share your, your concern about this. I find this incredibly uh, anxiety-provoking, but to hear your, uh, your aggression on this and your unity with Ch uh, Chairman Chaffetz on this, uh, the, the lack of partisanship around this issue uh, is heartening. So thank you, sir. Uh, we're, we're together on this one, no doubt about it. it.